Good morning, my friends. This is Patrick Allman from PatrickAllman.com and OwnYourEmpire.com. And I've been asked a couple of times to show people how to create a blank page template in Optimize Press 2. And I have to admit, when I tried this many, many months ago, I guess you could say when I bought Optimize Press 2, I was kind of frustrated because even when you go in to pick a blank page template, it's not really blank. So here's a quick video to show you how to create a blank page template and to save it as one of your own predefined templates because a lot of you that are very experienced in creating landing and squeeze pages will always start with a blank page template. As you see right in front of you, we're at one of my sites, ownyourempire.com, and I'm gonna go into the administrator back end so we can start. For those of you that are not familiar with Optimize Press 2, this is a brilliant product, and I would encourage you to click one of my links on the video or just go to the Optimize Press 2 website and buy that if you're going to sell things online. You can research it all you want, but at the end of the day, you're going to find out that this is a brilliant product when it comes to selling things online. Okay, as you can see right here, I'm in my administrator back end. Whenever I build Optimize Press 2 pages, I always start over here on Page Builder. And that was something that took some while to getting used to, <clears throat> excuse me, is that you don't go to the normal WordPress place to build pages. You go to Optimize Press 2 Page Builder. It starts you through their wizard where you pick a page name. And I'm going to pick just a test page name for this exercise this morning. Always check availability because you'd be surprised how many times you think your pages are unique and your mind is in the same process it was last time. When you come down here, I would pick, when we're gonna create, since we're gonna create a new template that's blank, we're gonna have to pick one of their predefined templates and arrange it the way we'd like it. So I'm gonna say right here, use a content template. And the one I like to start with for this exercise is I come down here and I pick this one called Simple Landing Page. It's down here under the heading of uh, opt-in pages. You have different groupings. You have home pages, membership pages, and uh, opt-in pages. I go down under opt-in pages. I pick simple landing page. I scroll to the bottom, and I proceed to step two in the wizard. Then it puts me in their live editor, which I think is brilliant. It's their drag and drop editor, and that's how you build all of your pages and optimize press too. Now what you have to do at this point in time is you have to clean up the page and basically create your own blank page. And the reason you do that is because their blank page or their blank page template, number one, it's not blank. And number two, even if you clean up that blank page template, it doesn't give you some of the options you have on a full page. You can't add new rows, there's width issues, things like that. So I pick a page like this and I clean it up myself. So at this point in time, you just go to town and clean up all the elements. Go to every row right here. You can do it element-wise, but I prefer to go to rows. Go to every row, click on the big X, and clean off all the content on, every, on the two rows that are in there by default. Now, if you notice, our page is basically blank right here. First of all, i got to remind you, also ignore this orange bar up here. That's something unique to my site. That's a Hello Bar plugin I have installed. You're not going to see that on your site. But if you notice, our page is mostly blank. We've still got a footer area right here, and we don't want that either. So I'm gonna go over here to Layout Settings on the upper left-hand corner. Click the toggle to turn off the footer area. Click on Update. Go ahead and reload the page. And there you have it. You have your own blank page template where you can start adding new rows and new elements in every single row. Now, at this point in time, what I would do before you start creating a new page here is I would save this as your own template so in the future, you don't have to come back to my website and watch this video. You can come back to my website, ownyourempire.com and watch other training videos. To do that, over here on the left-hand side, go to Save as Preset. Save it as Patrick's Super Awesome Blank page template so save that and so now just like optimize press 2 comes with templates you can create your own templates as starting points so what I might actually do in this particular case is back out of saving this page this test page I was creating I, I suppose I could have done there but I want to show you one other thing before we, sh we stop the video come over here and optimize press 
launch, excuse me, page builder like we were talking about before. This time I'm going to create a new page and this is going to be your real page. And for your future pages where you want to start with a blank page, what you're going to come do is obviously check your availability, but come down here, use a saved preset and pick that blank page template that you redefined right there before. Proceed to step two, and you should be able to start up and launch your product a lot faster now that you don't have to clean up that page. If this video was helpful, please leave a comment in the area below, or of course, you can get a hold of me on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, I would encourage you to subscribe to my email list at ownyourempire.com if you'd like more tips like this in the future. Again, this has been Patrick Allman from patrickallman.com and ownyourempire.com. You have a great day and keep up that great marketing.